So this is going to be a full video on how to run retargeting ads on Facebook. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Lucas Keeler. I run an agency that does Facebook ads for e-com businesses. And we've helped scale multiple businesses from zero to $50,000 a month. Now setting up a retargeting campaign inside Facebook is actually super simple. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now inside of ads manager. So I'm in my business ads manager right now. And as you can see, I have two campaigns running. I paused all my ads for now this month, just because I took on the max amount of clients I can have right now for this month. And I'm going to simply just create a new campaign to run you guys through all this. So I'm going to click create right here under new campaign. And I'm going to do, let's say a leads campaign and click continue. Since my business is collecting leads, I'm going to do leads. If your business is doing sales, do sales. But for my business, I'm going to do leads. And right now I'm going to click manual leads campaign and click continue. I can leave my campaign name how it is. I don't need to declare any categories since I'm not a special category. And I am going to turn on advantage campaign budget. So I could turn this budget on, you know, $20 a day, $40 a day. I would keep it minimally low. If you have a bunch of people coming to your website, let's say, you know, 10,000 plus, you can maybe bump that up to 30, $40 a day. But if you have let's say 1,000 to 3,000 people coming. I'll leave this at 10 to $20 a day and just leave it at that and click next. Now inside your ad set, this is where we're actually going to set up the retargeting. So I'm gonna leave my ad set name how it is and I'm gonna choose my conversion location, which is going to be my website. I'm gonna have my pixel right here and I'm gonna choose my conversion event. For my conversion event, I did Invite meeting scheduled. That's because I have my Calendly connected to my pixel. And so my Calendly is actually sending events to my pixel. So when someone goes to fill out the form on my website and they schedule a meeting, that sends a positive reply to my pixel saying, hey, this person, schedule a meeting and they are now a lead versus having someone just visit my website. For a performance goal, I always leave that as maximize number of conversions. And I'm now going to scroll down a little bit. We're not going to turn on dynamic creative at all. You can if you want to, but we are not going to do that for now. If you want to learn what a DCT is, go to the link in the description and watch my video on how to set up a DCT. For budget and schedule, that is going to stay the exact same. We don't need to mess with any of that. But for audience controls, and advantage plus audience. This is where we're actually going to mess with our targeting. So as you can see right now, it's an advantage plus audience. We're going to switch to original audience options. So we're gonna to switch to use original audience. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're now going to see create a new audience. So this is where we're actually going to create a new audience, which is going to be all of our website visitors. So I'm gonna click create new right here on the top right and click custom audience. And I'm now going to click my website. You could also do Instagram account if you wanna do your Instagram account as well. So you have two ad sets inside this campaign, one for your website retargeting and one for Instagram retargeting. But for now, we're just going to do our website and click next. And I can now choose my event. So that's going to be all website visitors. I could actually even go even, I could actually go even deeper than that, which would be like our page view, or if they selected a meeting, or I can even do, they selected the day for the meeting, but didn't actually schedule. But for now, I'm just going to leave that at all website visitors. And for my audience retention, I can put this all the way up to like 180 days. But for retargeting, I really want to target people that most recently saw my product or my page. So I'm going to leave this at 45. I think it's a good number that I like using a lot. And for my audience name, I'm just going to name this website visitors and then 45 days. And so now that's all I need to do to actually create this audience. I just need to give it a name and choose my audience retention. So how many days? And I'm now going to click create audience. So now that I created that audience, I'm going to click done right here. And you can see right now, custom audiences that is now visible. And it says website visitors 45 days. And we know it's going to retarget people because in our top right, where it says audience definition and estimated size of the audience, it's unavailable. So that means it doesn't know how many people it's actually going to target since it's relying off all the people that went to your website from your pixel. Now that's all we need to do. We don't really need to mess with anything else. Obviously, if you know your demographics, so your age, you can put that in. And obviously, if you're in a different location besides the United States, I would add in your location. We're not going to do any advantage detail targeting. So we're not going to do any of that inside this retargeting campaign. And for our placements, that could say advantage plus placements. But we can now click next and we can now go into our ad level. And this is where we can now set up our actual ad. So we're going to leave our ad name how it is, our Facebook page and Instagram account are already connected. And for our creative source, so our ad setup, we're gonna leave this as manual upload, single image or video. You could do carousel or collection, but we're not going to do any of that for now. And we're going to click off multi-advertiser ads. I just don't want that on because that means our ad can appear along other ads inside Facebook. And so for our ad sources, we can leave this blank, but we could also add in our website. So I'm just going to add in my business website. I can scroll down a little bit and add in my actual ad creative. So I'm gonna add in my videos that I have previously. So I'm just gonna add in video one right here, click next, and I can now click next again, click next and done. I am now going to use that ad inside Facebook and I can now go down and scroll down a little bit and choose my call to action 
and enter in my website URL, which is already in there. And I can simply add in my primary text, my headline, if you have that ready to go. I'm not going to add that in because I don't have a primary text ready for this video. And the last thing that we're gonna do is scroll down a little bit and see tracking. This is where we're gonna see our website events. Make sure you have a data set set up inside Facebook that's going to track all of your events on your website, on your Instagram, and on your ads. So that's going to send actually, so that's going to send information back from your website to Facebook and that's going to help actually retarget everybody that has visited your website. And you can also do URL parameters. So if you're using a platform like Hyros, Triple Whale, J4, you can add in those parameters right here, but we're not going to add any of that in and we're basically done. That's all you need to know how to actually retarget people on Facebook. It's a super easy setup and super easy to bring in a little bit more revenue into your business. If you guys need help at all, leave a question in the comments and I'll get back to it as fast as possible. But that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.